you're watching JD's Variety Channel. Hey everyone and welcome to the video. A little bit of backstory on what you're about to watch. Some people will remember that close to two years ago I posted a marathon metal detecting video at a spot that I had found that's not too far away from me that I don't think anybody had ever metal detected before. And this little two acre or less uh, little area of land it was just littered with coins and trash and jewelry to the point of insanity. Um, you could literally, when I first started hunting it, you could have just dug holes and found stuff without a metal detector. That's how dense the targets were. Now, it's it was a school, I should say still is a school, it's still standing. It's a brick school that was built in 1953 and is currently still used as an elementary school. And over the years, they turned the front of it into a park and put like a little makeshift uh, ball field in there and um, some playgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to post a link to that video uh, below if you want to watch this in context. You'll want to watch that first. I dug something crazy like 1,500 coins out of just this tiny little area and uh, I documented all that. Now, after I posted that video, I did continue to hunt it and one of the things I knew had to be in there was a lot of jewelry and I did find some silver rings there but um, if you're not familiar with metal detecting gold rings up really low and mimics a lot of trash so when you want to find gold you have to you generally dig a ton of garbage and I was determined that I was going to find a gold ring at this location so when I had free time um, on the weekends I would just go over there and just start you know locating targets and digging holes and digging all the crap out of there and I want to first show you um, the end of that video that I posted so you can kind of see it in context. I was kind of creating this build up of my continuing journey so I'm going to play that right now. So you'll see from that clip, I was determined to find gold there. And the footage you're about to watch is about maybe something like five metal detecting hunts that I did there after I posted the video. And yes, I found one. And I'm going to go back there someday, so maybe there's more there. But the amount of stuff that has come out of this place is amazing. So I hope you enjoy the video of the Ghetto Honey okay, Hole. Okay, so false start. I wanted to point out a couple more things here. Now, when I call this the Ghetto Honey Hole, that's because this is in a really bad area. I've been panhandled while I was there. I've had destructive kids come over and try to mess with the metal detector. And we're not talking about just curious kids. And I've had kind of times where I thought where somebody might try to rob me. Um, this is the location where I found my ghetto fist pack, which was um, dropped probably sometime in the 90s. It was 21 pennies wrapped in uh, electrical tape, you know, for somebody to use during a fist fight. I've been there where there has been fights across the street by public housing. So basically, I only hunted this place on Sunday mornings when the local church that was on the corner was in and then that's kind of the quietest time so i would hunt here like three or so hours at a time on sunday mornings and uh, just try to keep to myself as much as possible it was definitely a spot where a lot was going on that's for sure <laughs> the real bouncy signal uh, the soil's real nice and moist we got some rain it's a chilly one out this morning but um went about four inches down and when i did that flicked that soil up i just flicked a penny up so I guess there was more in one hole. I'll pull that out in a second. On a real thunky signal four inches down. Surprisingly my first coin is a wheat uh, because there's not a ton of old coins in this spot. 
think that's 1940 something there. I can't really see with the glare. It's a brisk morning out. It's in the 40s, but it's sunny. And uh, let's check out that other one I just flicked up in my hand. I can't even see through the viewfinder. Yeah, another wheat set. They must have been up against each other. This one's really preserved. Really good shape. All right, awesome. I'll check the hole again live, I guess. Wow, there's... There's more in there. Maybe there's a silver in there. That would be awesome. another penny. Like I said, I can't even see through the viewfinder from this angle. Yeah, another wheat scent. That one's a bit rough. Okay. I dropped it back in the hole. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else in there. We'll do it. Three wheaties in the hole. At a spot that there's really not too many old coins, so uh We'll take that. Hopefully some jewelry will show up today. I expect to dig quite a bit of clad. Not going to be here too long though, maybe two hours. And one of the reasons why you can go over this spot hundred, like almost a hundred times and still find targets is is because it's in a, an extremely bad part of the ghetto and it's littered with trash. But when I started hunting this, I believe it was virgin territory. So man, I've, I've cleaned a heck of a lot out of here. Um, under this plug uh, was where I just dug them. Coins. There was a mixed tone here and with a lot of iron and trash, but I isolated a good sounding target. Uh, here's, I don't know what that is. It's iron though. I just saw that in the hole now. And uh, there's two pennies stuck together here. Let's see if I can get the camera in the hole getting away from the glare. You can see them stuck together. Um, this is only like four inches away from those that other wheat spill, so this might be part of the same spill. I figured I'd turn the camera on. That's why I assume, because they're about the same depth too. Four to five inches, which is very deep for this spot. Most of the stuff is shallow. It's wheat scent on that side. And the wheat on that side too, you can't really see well on that one. So uh, a five wheat spill. That is awesome. Those are really stuck together. I'll have to get them apart later. else in the hole but I'm gonna check this area pretty good back at you soon I'm gonna to try to do a live one here this is an interesting target man there's signals coming out everywhere all just even on the first pass randomly a little bit bouncy of a signal but when it hits it hits hard come this way kind of squeaks like iron that way and yeah, we'll see what happens anyway digging is perfect here today been waiting for ground like this all year and temperatures too, cooler temperatures are welcome. It was freezing yesterday though. Only got up into the 30s for highs. This is the coldest day we've had this year yet. Well, I don't know if it's a good target mixed in with the iron, but it sounds okay. Still a little weird but I might have missed it here, so we're gonna open this up a little bit wider. Could just be a clad cord or something with trash. Well, here's a clad quarter. Looks like it was perfectly on edge. Okay, we'll keep looking. Well, the deeper, older stuff is hitting really hard today. I got that clad quarter right about here somewhere. Went up a little bit further, had a four inch signal. 
and uh, I know it's not much, but uh, it's a 1960D Memorial. Definitely been down there a long time. I mean, I've hunted this spot hard for four hours, you know, on certain days at times. And sometimes in that four hours, I mean, you could come up with, you know, tons of clad, but uh, normally maybe even if you find one or two weed pennies, you know, or something like that, it's, it's good. You know, or maybe one silver would make me ecstatic. But the fact that the deep old ones are hitting today, I'm really gonna focus on those deeper targets with the ground soft and them hitting so well. I uh, just may get silver out of here. We'll see. Two and one in this hole, clad quarter, and a pull tab. Since I've been hunting this place, I've probably dug around 3,000 targets out of it. Uh, just an estimate, maybe somewhere around in there. This hole got a nickel tone. We got two nickel-like tone signals. We got a pull tab and a nickel. I know there's gotta be gold in this place somewhere. Every time I come, I dig as much trash as uh, I can without getting on my nerves too bad. So um, hopefully sometime it'll come. Even if it's not today, I'm gonna keep trying when I can get back here. It's been a long time since I've had a coin ball. Ground's moist enough to form around the targets. Let's break her open. Oh, and it pops out. You can see the imprint, it's clad down. It's an oldie though. It's gotta be 60s or 70s, it's been down there a long time. 77, I think. Keep looking. All right, I got a really high tone mixed in with this heavy clay, about two to three inches down. And uh, probably just gonna be a clad quarter, but just in case, it is in this little clay ball, and I can't even see an edge or nothing, so let's uh, break it out, see what it is. And you see clad edge. It's a quarter. Keep hunting, been here about an hour and a half. As I suspected, it was kind of weird I hit that weedy patch first at that spill. I haven't had one weedy since, but I got a pouch full of clad. See if we can get anything else. I'm only staying another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so here's my first piece of jewelry today. I think it's just bling. I'll check it out later. It's starting to rain. I might get rained out here. I'm gonna throw my hoodie on and see if it'll pass for a little bit. All right, we got a dime on the parking lot. Nice. Let's try to find some more. All right, guys. Wanted to get out to detecting today, um, but I wanted a break from door knocking. And I just wanted wanted to go out and uh, just dig some targets you know, and enjoy some of the mild weather we've been having here which is kind of nice. It's only in the low 60s today. So anyway, I went back to the honey hole. If you've been watching my videos in the past, you guys will know that I'm convinced that there's a gold ring there for various reasons and what kind of events have been hosted there. Um, and I think I'm the only person to ever hunt this place. Anyway, I don't usually show my trash, but I wanted to show you guys. I found all this in about an hour and a half. The, the signals are so congested there. Um, ha like half the time I'm there I just kind of shuffle around with the, the probe and the detector and don't even get back up all the time. There's just so many targets. So today I didn't really have too much of a strategy other than just go out there and dig. And that I did. There's tons of pull tabs in there, tons of bottle caps, a battery, tons of can slaw. I was picking up all the surface trash because if you know I'm planning on finding a piece of gold there, you know I'm, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. Uh, it's in a really bad area. They don't even put trash cans there anymore. I guess they've had so many problems. Um, but anyway, there's the trash for the change. Uh, I was digging pretty much all the zincs today, uh, just trying to find jewelry and stuff like that. Still hitting a few quarters. Some of them more recent drops than not. I mean, I haven't been there in several months now. I've picked who knows how many quarters out of this place. Um, but that's my change. A few dollars worth anyway. Didn't get any precious metals today, but I did get some bling, so you know it's showing me there is jewelry there. Uh, this is just this is just junk there. Um, this I'm not actually sure what it is, but it's just made out of pot metal. And then I found a 2002 pin. So it got me some jewelry today. You know, I can't beat all this for an hour and a half, but I was beat, so I went about as long as my, my knees and my feet would take it, you know, because there's just, you just dig the whole time you're there. You don't really get a break. This brief intermission is brought to you by me.
right back at the famous ghetto spot uh, looking for either deeper targets and uh, weird tones today I want to find some gold I know there's got to be some in here about three inches down I think like a 1522 signal and I got an old key it says uh, sergeant on it so there's definitely still stuff down here still signals everywhere I'm just gonna pick out as many tones as I can today it's been at least an hour here maybe more let's get on to some goodies all right, I got a tone that sounded a little bit larger than a zinc penny, but kind of in the zinc penny range. And uh, this place is littered with bottle caps, but I'm not sure if that's what that is. It almost looks silver, so that's pretty strange. Um, I'll clean it up later and see if I can figure out if it's just some kind of weird bottle cap or some kind of crumbled up piece of silver. If it is, I'm not sure what it would have been too. So uh, on to the next find. Guys, I'm really excited now. I just dug a uh, copper penny here. And what I do is when I get it like a good coin signal or a good strange tone that I like, I sit down and I dig it. And then while I'm on the ground, there's so many targets here, I just scan to see if there's anything else. And if I get any signals around the hole, no matter what it, what it registers in, I dig it. And uh, I'm using my uh, um, just my uh, modified pattern that just takes out iron and keeps everything else in. And if I wouldn't have done this, I would have missed this um, because it rings in 1205. You can hear it really faint signal. I think it's that gold ring that I was convinced is in here. I'm not 100% certain, but it's the right color and it's really small. So I'm going to bust it out here. Yep. It's got to be gold. Woohoo! A long time coming. I told you I knew there had to be one in here. I have dug absolutely thousands of targets out of this place. But not a lot of jewelry. A lot of junk jewelry, one silver ring, but I got my gold today. Ten carat. I mean, it's small. It's probably only two grams, but it is definitely a real gold ring. Let me try to get a shot of the mark here. It has a tiny stone in it. So it could possibly be a real diamond. I'm not sure. I'll have to test it when I get home. But I'm not sure if you can see it in there. There's a weird glare here, but I'm going to clean up later. 10 carat gold ring. All right. I want to show you guys. I'm not serious when there's a lot of targets here. That's where I got the penny. I pulled the gold ring right out of here. There's bottle cap tones and foil tones and pull tabs all mixed in around it. So I just basically get on my knees with the probe and just keep start digging. And I finally got the gold today, thousands of targets later, about a year after I started hunting this place. So maybe there's another one in here. I'm going to keep trying. Still in that patch, I dug a crusty, really deteriorated zinc penny next to the gold ring. I had a real wobbly mid-tone. I don't know, this could have been a jewelry spill, but who knows. But man, I just found a huge cross. It's really big. I think it's just plated junk, but man, it's got all kinds of bling in it, fake diamonds. And, but man, that, th that thing is, you can see it's a uh, pot metal on the inside. Well, that's a honker. We'll see if we can find some more. This intermission is brought to you by Snapple. All right, I dug this 1238 signal, even though there's millions of bottle caps here because this one was really deep. I started pulling all kinds of glass shards out of the hole, so I figured it was just gonna be a bottle top. I got about a good five inches down and pulled out a really crusty copper disc. I haven't dug a wheat penny out of this place in like the last four hunts here. I've nearly cleaned all the old coins out of it. Cherry picked it over the last year. But uh, that one's really crusty and I can't even wipe that off. It's in really bad shape, but uh, maybe a wheat penny. I'll clean it up later. Wasn't expecting that today, but try to get some more jewelry. All right, I just got a spoon and it's not a very old one, only down about an inch, probably stainless steel. Let's get some more. It's got a high 1245, 1246, about two to three inches down and it's another ring. Um, it appears to just be a junk ring, but uh, it's gold plated but not real gold. It's got a bit of the plating left on it. Still need find, two rings in one day. I'm not done yet. All right, let's keep going. 
guys. Uh, I got one of these last time. I already know what it is. You can see it right here. It's got a pin on the back. They must have given uh, these out at one of the events here. There's been a lot of different types of events held here that I know about over the years. We'll see if it's the same year. Last one I got was 2002. It actually has a root growing through it. But yeah, I think this is <laughs> bug on me. Uh, I think that's a 2002 pin. It's just junk, but uh, I'm pretty certain they gave these out at one of the events here back in 2002. So that's a 13 year old pin, and I found one just like this last time I was here. Hmm. All right, here's the wrap up. Uh, great hunt, just digging as many targets as I could find at the ghetto honey hole. I'm gonna show a follow up on the gold ring here in a second, so I'm not really gonna show that now. Um, as always, a generous pile of coins. Uh, they're starting to get a little bit slower, but man, there's just so many of them there. I got that old key. Uh, there's a look at the garbage, just pieces of cans, tons of them, tons of pull tabs, just, you know, a couple pounds worth of trash anyway, like I get every time I go there. Just garbage everywhere. Um, I got that 2002 pen. Um, this absolutely massive cross. I mean, I can't even explain how heavy this is. It's probably like 40 grams. Man, this thing is just huge. Can you imagine if that was silver or real gold? That would be something else, but really cool find. Try to just get a better shot of it. Just a bunch of bling in it. Uh, but anyhow, then I got the uh, Junker aluminum ring. Uh, this coin here, which I think is a wheat penny. It's getting a little dark here. Focus isn't as good, but it's extremely crusty. I tried to even pick a bunch of that off. Pretty sure that's a weedy, though. It was really deep and really crusty. And uh, just that's just like a plastic ribbon that I found in the hole with something. And this piece, which I showed that I thought might be silver because it didn't quite look like a bottle cap and it had that dull silver tarnish on it, um, I'm going to have to use my test kit on it and I'll do a follow-up on it and put it in the next video or put it in the comments. But uh, I do believe it's silver. It's actually uh, looks to be an old solder pepper shaker lid. Um, so it, it, may be, it may be silver. So uh, really sweet, interesting finds today. Uh, thank you all for watching. Keep swinging. All right, I got my diamond tester all ready to go. See the lamp batteries on, and uh, I figured this would be real because it's just a little teeny little thing, and it is set in 10 karat gold. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and test it right now. And I have it set about where it's supposed to, based on the size of it and the temperature. And it's real. Got me a tiny women's gold ring with a real diamond in it. Okay, back at the ghetto spot. Got a couple copper pennies, a zinc, a lot of trash as usual, and probably from the original school building here. Got a brick. Just figured I'd show that, see if we can find something cool today. All right, so I had a weird high tone in with that brick signal. Uh, that kind of hit iron numbers too, and um, I just rescanned the hole. I must have flicked it out, and not noticed it, but uh, there was an old older coin down in with that brick. It's a uh, 1964 copper penny. It's been there down there a long time, so uh, still hope for a few oldies out of this place. But I'm mainly just looking for jewelry. Alrighty, there's the first quarter of the day. Big money. All right, had to cut the hunt short today. Uh, the honey hole is in a really bad area. I'm sure some of, some of you already know that if you've seen some of my past videos. Uh, but anyhow, just uh, too many uh, characters I didn't trust hanging around there today. Um, I usually don't try to hunt that in the middle of the day toward evening when everybody's out. I try to go early in the morning. Uh, so I, I only stayed for about 30 minutes today. Um, got an interesting story from a guy. Uh, I don't know what it is with people and telling stories about stuff stashed in uh, military ammo boxes, sort of like my drug dealer video. Uh, there's a guy hollered at me and said something like, uh, one of his, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, one of my friends from uh, prison 
uh, robbed the little convenience store right down the road, and uh, he he buried the money that he uh, got from it in a military ammo box where I was hunting. So I don't know. It was funny, so I just joked it off with him and. I said, oh, yeah, if, you know, if I find it, we'll split it or whatever. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh I'd, I'd just be happy with a blunt. <laughs> so tells you what kind of place I'm hunting. Uh, but anyway, there's the coins in about a half an hour, one quarter, a couple dimes, some copper pennies, and I'm digging all the zincs now, hoping for, like, a big 10-carat ring or something. Uh, the usual mound of garbage. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more. My next adventure is always just around the corner. Take care, and happy treasure hunting.